Welcome back to our channel. We are excited for this video as one of our team members went to visit a farm to see some incredible and cute fluffy alpacas. This is Bluebird Farm Alpacas, a place where alpaca adventures intertwine with cherished memories. We've met with the owner of this farm, Nick Villa, who graciously allowed us to come and observe his wonderful alpacas while we learn fascinating facts directly from him. Before we get started, let's talk about a farm that we visited. The Bluebird Farm Alpacas first started as a personal venture 10 years ago, but then blossomed into a heartwarming journey of friendship and community. The warmth and joy experienced at Bluebird Farm Alpacas became contagious, weaving countless smiles, cherished memories, and moments of pure delight into the lives of all who visited. You can find the links to their social media down in the description if you're interested in visiting. The Bluebird Farm Alpacas offers an experience that unlocks a lifetime of unforgettable memories and smiles to friends and families. Today, our focus turns to Nick as we take a sneak peek into his farm and the adorable alpacas that reside there. Alongside this adventure, we're absorbing knowledge about these delightful, fluffy animals. I usually actually like to start with the difference between llamas and alpacas. A lot of people confuse that. They're not sure if they're looking at a llama or an alpaca. And on, at Bluebird Farm, we're all about the alpacas. Really, the difference in these two guys, the llamas and the alpacas, would be, one, the llamas are much larger than our alpacas. Llamas are about 400 pounds, and our alpacas are only about 150 to 200 pounds. But typically, if you were to see a llama or an alpaca on a balloon or a napkin or something like that, you might want to focus in on their ears, because the llama has much larger what we refer to as banana-shaped ears, and the alpaca's ears tend to be a little shorter and more pointed. Now, the best place to pat an alpaca the first place most people go to pat an alpaca is on the tops of their heads. But unlike a dog, alpacas are not crazy about having their heads patted. These guys are animals of prey, and as such, they're always looking out for predators. Now, there are no predators here at Bluebird Farm alpacas, but if you get near their heads, they tend to shy away because they always want to be able to see and they're concerned that you might block their vision. Alpacas produce some of the finest fiber there is. Their fiber actually is similar to a polar bear's fiber in that the fibers are hollow. So it's incredibly warm. It's actually about eight times warmer than sheep's wool. It's also hypoallergenic and it naturally wicks moisture. So it makes great socks, for example. It's truly one of the finest natural fibers there is. In addition to having a really great fiber, these guys have a very interesting social behavior. They're actually known as communal poopers. They all poop in the same place and they all poop at the same time. They take dust baths. You may see an alpaca rolling in the dust at some point in your visit. And they do that to maintain their fiber. They might be a little dusty, but they're really quite clean. So these alpacas are super connected. What one does, they all do. All right, let's see, a couple more things. They live to be about 20 years old. They typically have one baby at a time. The babies are known as Kriya, C-R-I-A. And when the Kriyas are born, they're only about 14, 15 pounds, but within a year, they can be over 100 pounds. They grow very rapidly. Now I'm gonna introduce you to a little Kriya over here. Her name is Sunshine, and Sunshine, who's hanging out with her mom right now, Sunshine was born to um, her mom, Sky, only about 10 weeks ago now. But we weighed her last week, and she is already 55 pounds, even being born 10 weeks ago at 14 to 15 pounds. So they grow very rapidly. Let's just come over here and say hi. Now, Sunshine's fiber is a little different than everybody else's because she was born after shearing day when she was still in her mom's tummy, when everybody was getting shorn. So her fiber is super fluffy, as you can see, and it's actually much longer than everybody else's, but it is indicative of what everybody's fiber is gonna look like next spring when everybody gets sheared again. Feeding an alpaca, very simple. You just put a little grain in your hand. The interesting thing about feeding alpacas is their mouths are actually designed to eat grass in the pastures here in New Jersey or amongst the rocks in the Andes Mountains. This is what we feed our alpacas as sort of a treat on a daily basis. In here is a little bit of oats, crushed corn, and some molasses that's been fortified with vitamins and minerals. So this is really good for these guys and very healthy for them. And this is mom who's really eating for two because she's still nursing. So she's the one that really wants to take the grain beyond everybody else. Sometimes she shares it, most of the time she doesn't. Right? This is Silverhawk. He loves his grain. 
He's beautiful. He produces an enormous amount of, of fiber. Pacas actually are very easy to care for. We do need to shear them once a year, and that has been the case for the last 2,000 years because alpacas are raised specifically for their fiber. So contrary to what most, most people think, alpacas are not in the wild. Even in the Andes Mountains in South America, there's always a shepherd or somebody keeping an eye on them because they do require human intervention, if you will, once a year to be shorn. So when people come to the farm, we do a little talk about the alpacas and we share some of the facts that I shared with you earlier. And then we bring them in and we introduce them to the alpacas. So, and then that's the point where they, we give everybody a bag of grain and they have the opportunity to feed them and, and just hang with them, which is very enjoyable. We've opened our farm to the public and it's really been a lot of fun. It's very fulfilling because people who come here truly, truly enjoy meeting the alpacas and spending time in such a beautiful place.